guys, girls, and everyone in between. In today's video, we're going to be going over my top teen romance reads. Um, I have really been obsessed with romance novels recently, so I thought I would share them with you. These books have not all come out in 2021, but they are really great books, and I just thought if anybody needed some romance recommendations, this would be perfect. Also just wanted to do a quick mention that all the books I'll be mentioning today will be linked in the description to Amazon, so you can also check them out there. So recently because of Miss Corona, I have been reading a lot more online and on this old e-reader, so I won't actually be showing any physical books, but I'll talk about my opinions and all of that. Okay, so let's get right into it, not waste any time. And my first book of today is The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert. The official summary is, two first-time teen voters meet at their polling place and fall in love over the course of one crazy day. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 because of its awesome characters, great plotline, and the romance was on point. Okay, on to the next book of this video, and I just wanted to mention that the next few books have all been turned into movies, so search them up online to find which services offer them because they all are on different services. So now let's talk about Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. The summary for this one is a bit long, I don't want to bore you guys, so I kind of shortened it and made it my own. This book is about a girl who is basically allergic to the world. Her life changes one day when she meets the boy named Ollie who moved next door. Maybe we can't predict the future, but we can predict some things. For example, she is definitely going to fall in love with Ollie, and it's almost certainly going to be a disaster. I rate everything, everything 4 out of 5 stars. It's a little lower than The Voting Booth just because of the ending, but it's still an awesome book, and none of these books will be rated less than 3 stars, but this was a great love story, and I loved it. Okay, so here is one of my all-time favorites, which is also from Nicola Yoon, and this one is called The Sun is Also a Star. I just finished watching the movie. I was really disappointed in the movie, so I highly recommend you read the book and then watch the movie. Now for the summary. Two teens, Daniel, the son of Korean shopkeepers, and Natasha, whose family is here illegally from Jamaica, cross, pa cross paths in New York City on an eventful day in their lives. Daniel's on his way to an interview with a Yale alum, and Tasha's meeting with a lawyer to try and prevent her family's de deportation to Jamaica. And fall in love. I would rate this one 4.7 out of 5 stars, which is almost perfect if you think about it because I just really love the characters and their chemistry. Okay, my dear viewers, now we're going to be talking about The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is the second last one, and if you've made it this far, congratulations. So now you all know what's coming, the summary. Despite the tumor-shrinking medical miracle that has bought her a few years, Hazel has never been anything but terminal, her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis. But when a gorgeous plot twist named Augustus Waters suddenly appears at Cancer Kids Support Group, Hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten. I rate this book 4.3 out of 5 stars because I really like their journey in Amsterdam. So, we have made it now to the final book, which is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. This book is a whirlwind romance as Dash and Lily trade dares, dreams, and desires in the notebook they pass back and forth at locations all across New York City. But can their in-person selves possibly connect as well as their notebook versions, or will their scavenger hunt end in a comic mismatch of disastrous proportions? My final rating is the lowest of today, but that is only 3.5 out of 5 stars. Also, it has been made into a show on Netflix, which I will be watching for sure. Okay, my dear friends, we have made it to the end of my top teen romance reads. Um, here is the full list on screen. I hope you guys liked listening to my ratings and summaries. And just as another mention, all of these will be linked in the description to Amazon. So go check those out there, and you can also see the longer summaries that I couldn't mention. Thanks for watching this video, it means a lot, and if you want to see more from me, you can click on the videos that are going to be popping up and hit that subscribe 
button because that's what everyone says so i'm gonna say it too anyways i love you all so so much i hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are and i'll see you all in my next one bye